What's up guys, so today I will be doing a review on the 40 ounce Ranger Pro water bottle by Tao. Oh, almost knocked it over. We just picked it up from Walmart. It's for my school. Right there. My towel. It looks like a pretty solid water bottle. I'm excited to take this tomorrow. This is the Ranger Coffee. I accidentally got this. We weren't paying attention, but yeah. It's 18 ounces. It's way too small. I have to refill it. I drink almost two of these a day. So... Yeah, that's out of the question. And they also sell 64 ounce, but yeah, I already have the 18 ounce, so I might as well just take both instead. But um, this has a nice carabiner handle. The other one does not have. This is a lot more solid, and, and there's a really bad flaw with the Ranger Coffee. You open it to drink from. You open to drink. Let me open it. You drink out of there. What the problem is, your mouth hits the side of the lid and it gets all gross. That won't happen with the Ranger Pro. Because instead you unscrew this for drinking and then unscrew the whole thing for cleaning and adding ice. You might be able to add ice through here, but I just... Yeah, you un and it's also one-handed, which is nice. You unscrew this. It's hard to do with one hand, but with two hands, once you learn it, it's not that bad. It comes out. It's also tethered. I will never lose this. And you drink from there. So, the side is covered. So your mouth, where your mouth touches, will be covered. So it will never hit the floor or it will never get, touch other people, like if you brush up against someone. It might fit in the side holder of my backpack. This definitely fits. I've tried it. I took it one day. But, uh, this one's a lot wider. It's only a little bit taller, so they have to make up for it by making it wider. So it might not fit. This barely fits in the cup holder in the car. But it, it, this will not fit in the cup holder. This barely fits. This still might fit in the, in the pocket in the backpack. And if I unscrew the whole lid, uh, this is two hands. Let me put that down. Just like that. It's already washed. I'm going to put ice and stuff in it to try it. And also in the winter, we get really cold a couple days of the year. It's only a couple days. Like, it only gets to like 34, but it's still super cold. Also, we already got water stains because we washed it. So, there's no dish soap. We rinsed it. Yeah, that's a water stain. That's not a defect. Yeah, that's a water stain. That should come out if I were to put a towel in there. But... My hand might, oh, my hand also fits in there for easier cleaning. My hand would never fit in there. So it's easy for cleaning. And also the, where your mouth goes, once you close it, it's covered. So yeah, I'm going to put ice in it. And yeah, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to come back when I put ice. All right, guys, we have one small problem. This is our refrigerator where we fill the water and this that is my bottle so look what happens when i put it i'm gonna it is so big i can't even fit it so i'm gonna have to get a cup or something to put ice in it i'm filming all right guys so i managed to get ice in here I am so stupid for not coming up with this solution. What I have to do is be careful, slide it in. It, it might scratch if I hit it, but if I'm careful, it will not scratch it. And then I just select which ice crushed or cubed, and I press the button, which is that, and bam, I get ice. And yeah, it's not all the way, but it's super heavy. It's quite heavy, so... 
But my bag already weighs like 20 pounds, so it's not a big deal. It's only like three extra pounds I'm putting. It's not all the way filled up. It's like 80%. But yeah, I'm not going to fill it up all the way. I'm just going to cap it up and try it. And apologies, we have background noise right now. But yeah, I'm going to fill it, screw it back on. And I'm going to drink from it and see how good it is. This lid is a little bit hard to put on, but it's not that bad coming off. And it's all screwed on. Let's fold this. This is how I would put it in my bag. And yeah, I'm going to take it to the room and drink. All right, guys. First impressions of the Ranger Pro. Now, this is what I would do if I was in class. I would leave this because I don't want this hitting my face as I'm drinking. What I would do is I would unscrew. It's hard to do with one hand. Just like that. I only started it so you can watch me unscrew it. I don't want to squeal this. This is almost, this is like a third of a gallon in here. So if, if this squeals, it would be a mess. If this squealed, it would ruin the floor. Especially in my school, it's wax tile, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna try drinking. Not bad, but crushed ice isn't very good because it will go through and I might accidentally swallow that, but it's just crushed ice. It's not that big of a problem. If I put cubes, it will block it. So yeah, not a big deal. I just need to be careful not to. But other than that, oh, I accidentally zoomed in. Other than that, that's not a big problem. First impressions with the Ranger Pro 40 ounce. Not bad.